Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411 and today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading going for the sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, you're up next for your reading. It's been a little over a week and um, if you don't get clarity in this reading then definitely check your uh, moon and your rising sign or your Venus sign and you can just, you know, reach out to me also for personal readings. These are general readings, so if you need something more detailed and more catered exactly to your situation, please reach out at dsdivinetarot411 at gmail.com. Okay, so I already shuffled, spoke with spirit. Let's just jump right into your reading. Capricorn, first card out the gate. All right, so you got opportunity coming in. You got a Knight of Pentacles, and this Knight is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. He really takes his time, really thinks about how he's going to approach you, what he's going to offer you, and he has a plan, a strategy. So this is someone who could be offering you career advancement, job opportunity, could also be a date. Maybe someone wants to take you out for dinner or a night on the town. You see that sunshine, so this is abundance. But this could be some kind of offer coming into you, okay? Next card we got Capricorn. It's the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, this offer could have something to do with you working, your work, your career life. It looks like you're working very hard. You're doing very well. You're stacking up those eight pinnacles. You're only on your way to the ninth and the tenth pinnacles, and that's the completion, the tenth. So this right here could lead you to your your graduation or the, or the ending of this cycle. So you're at the eight. You only need the ten. So this could be exactly what you need to get you to that tenth one. So all in all, you're working hard, you're loving the work you're doing, you know you know your value, you know your worth, you're building it up, and then you just present it yourself. You, because of your work, you've created this opportunity for yourself. All right, Capricorn, next card we got is the moon. So yeah, we're in a new moon right now, and things are blurry. Usually when you get this, it's all about intuition, because things aren't clear right now. You might have questions, you might need clarity in a certain situation or multiple situations. And this is why, you know, we do tarot, you know, readings and, you know, we go within, ask spirit for guidance, insight, you know. Um, and this is all about, you know, not being clear, but also becoming clear. The moon will illuminate you at the right time. So, you know, just wait on divine timing and use your divine instinct and intuition in this situation. You'll become clear because the moon also illuminates your path just like the sun. So just keep that in mind. You might be blurry now, but you will become clear. You might have to wait on spiritual um, divine timing or your spiritual intuition. But that's a major arcana card. Very beautiful. Next card we got. I kind of see this as spiritual knowing after being blurry, and then <laughs> you get that knowing. All right, so three of swords. So this is a betrayal card, a pain of the past card. Um, it's nothing new. It's old, old news, but we keep reliving it, be it the loss of a loved one, be it the ending of a relationship, we could have been cheated on, someone could have passed away, and we feel betrayed by life, we feel betrayed by people, if they cheated on us, it's this kind of pain in, these kind of, in this card with this three of swords, it could be three different situations that you're, you're feeling this way about, be it work, a lover, home life, you know, it's, it could be a myriad of things, but all in all, this is a pain of a past, and it's not really relevant now, but we keep bringing it back like it is. It's like my queen passed, and I still go in and out of this. I have times where I'm fine, I'm okay, I know it was her time, but I miss her. And so that can take me right here, especially if I start to dwell and really think about her in our old times and go into pictures and videos and just stay there. I can bring this on about because it's like reliving uh, the past 
but it'll start to hurt because she's gone. So I can do it for a little bit and not overtax myself with it and be pretty okay just by watching one of her videos or hearing her sing or something. But if I keep on like bringing her, like, like I'm trying to have the old her back, that's not possible. I can't have my queen back no matter what I do. So this can bring that about. So just be mindful that spirit you know, has its own plan. Sometimes things are faded. Sometimes we have to go through betrayal or loss so we learn our own worth. And that's what this card is really showing you. Once you get through this pain, you will be ready for the next cycle because this is a cycle of the old and you're ready for the new. Okay, so let's bring it, bring it on to the next card. All right, yep, this shows it right here, the Nine of Wands. So you've been taxed, you've given it your all, you have nothing else to give, you're ready to quit. You just, you know, this is someone who has given all their magic, all their time, all their energy, all their efforts towards a particular path, towards maybe a person, maybe a home life, work life, and they're whooped. They're whooped by people, they're whooped by situations, they're whooped by what... All they have to face as far as their challenges, they're meeting their challenges, but it's been a tall task to get all nine of those wands. That's the most taxing, it's the ninth, and then when you get the tenth, that's super taxing too, but it's the end, it's the finish line. So, you just want to be mindful, you know, a lot of people give up here. A lot of people give up here, they stay here, they stay here, and they don't go to the next push the next stage they don't graduate because it was too trying they like I don't have anything else to give I quit you don't want to do that in this energy because once you make it to the other side you see it was all worth it to go through this pain and get through this pain and make it to the other side and same here once you get one more one if you push for that one more one you're gonna graduate you're gonna see it was all worth it you know, don't give up. You've given yourself all these other ones to collect. You don't want to give up on the last one because it's right there. It is very taxing to get. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's easy. It's hard to get. But once you get it, it's done. You graduated. Like all these kids about to graduate high school, elementary school, you know, and move on to the next stage. This is us in life. Spirituality, it never stops. We have spiritual tests, spiritual curriculum, you know, things we need to learn so we know our worth, we know our value, you know, we know what we deserve. And this isn't it. The tenth one is because you graduate and you get the life you always wanted and you complete this cycle. Okay, next card we got. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So you jump from the nine to the ace of wands. This is pure magic. You used your magic to get to the ace. That is a completion. This is the one, the beginning, to the nine. If you get the ten, hey, that'll just confirm it even more. But to me, from the nine to the ace, that's a completion. And this is spiritual magic in your favor to take you there, to get you to your graduation, and to show you how magical and powerful you are, and that you matter to spirit. Spirit always has our back. Sometimes it looks like we're by ourselves, we're all alone, but that's never true. Spirit, our guardian angels, God, the creator, whoever you call your God, they're always right there. They're listening to us. They're there to help us if we can find and trust and put our faith in them they will help they come out of the blue and you can even test them like I said I did a video on how you can know uh, that spirit is with you get these spiritual confirmations ask God for a penny or a quarter to confirm something for you ask God for a feather maybe a certain kind of feather crow hawk eagle ask God ask spirit to, to speak with you, communicate with you through signs and symbols. I always do it with feathers. I always do it with coins. I always do it with numbers. And I always receive those confirmations spiritually. That's magic. That's knowing that you are tied to something very powerful here. And it's not the system. It's the creator's place. That's where magic 
all comes from. I just uploaded one of my songs on the community page, so check that out. It's called We Magic, and that's what we are. We all are magic. We are the real stars, and we are real magic, spiritual magic. It's supposed to be a K at the end of the magic, but you get the point. We are magic, and we are spirit. So you are super magical right now. Use this uh, wand, the superhero wand, Harry Potter wand, to your advantage because you can create pretty much anything and manifest pretty much anything and bring it right to you. You can also get pregnant, so be careful with this, all right? Next card. We're on the next six. That was the first six, and we're going, this is immediate future. Wow, so this is a spiritual wish, a spiritual order. You put it out to the universe, to God, to the divine, to spirit, and it's coming in. You see those ships at the bottom? They're coming in. They're not there quite yet, but they're coming in real soon. So that spiritual order, that wish you put out, is coming in. So you're about to get whatever you wanted to manifest, be it love, be it a job, be it you know a new life path the showing is coming in and it's showing you got new career and work opportunity as well so this could be that or it could be another opportunity as well it's a wish that you put out and it's coming right for you all right next card we got whoa is the empress go right ahead capricorn so if you're uh, you're a king